Hey everyone, for today my wife Don is going to teach you how to make Dom Yum Gong. This is her take on one of Thailand's most famous food dishes. As much as I love cooking Thai food at home, I'm going to let Don demonstrate how she makes her homemade style of Thailand's famous spicy shrimp soup, step by step. I have friends that love Dom Yum Gong, but they don't want to make it because they are unfamiliar with the ingredients. I mean I get it, there's a lot of ingredients which makes it look very intimidating. You've most likely never used kaffir lime leaves or tamarind or even culantro. Yes, it's on Wikipedia, so it's gotta be real. Just think of all these ingredients as flavor building blocks. That's all, and then you just start cooking. Well, Don's gonna show you how it's done, and there's nothing to it. When you have all the ingredients prepped and ready to go, it's so easy, you will see. The main ingredient is of course shrimp or gong in Thai. Living in Thailand, we always have fresh shrimp, never frozen. Peel the shrimp leaving the heads and tail intact. This is just for presentation. Then cut down the shrimp spine and take out the vein. Here I have 8 shrimps that weigh 750 grams with shells on. If you want to use smaller shrimp you can, but don't get shrimp that are too small. You can find a full list of ingredients in the video description box below. First step, start by prepping the herbs and aromatics. These classic fragrant Thai ingredients would become the base flavor of the soup. We cut one stalk lemongrass into large pieces, eight shallots, just bash them open, one three inch piece of galango sliced, and two three inch pieces of tamarind. Add these ingredients into a pot with four cups of boiling water. You can also use four cups chicken stock or even shrimp stock. Check out my good friend's video on how to make shrimp stock. His name is Wally too. Us Wallys have to stick together. Just let this boil for just a few minutes on medium heat. Step 2. Add 1 tablespoon of salt followed by half a cup of Thai chili paste. This is the ingredient that will give Tom Yum Gong that bright red spicy color. But Thai chili paste is really not spicy. followed by 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. Aside from the tablespoon of salt, fish sauce provides another layer of tasty liquefied fish salt. Then let that go for another minute. Next, add the shrimp. When the soup starts to simmer, add coconut milk. We're going to add 250 grams of coconut milk. Coconut milk is going to bring all the flavors together. Then add all the Thai chili which have been chopped and bashed with a mortar and pestle to release the oils from Thai chili. We like it really spicy so the spicier the better. Mix well then add the mushrooms and let cook for a few minutes on medium heat. You can use less mushrooms if you want uh, but, but Dan really likes the mushrooms so she adds a bunch. Now it's time to add kaffir lime leaves, cilantro, and culantro. You might have never seen culantro, but you should be able to find it at your Asian supermarket. Continue cooking for two minutes while mixing all of the ingredients. Then switch off the heat. Break out a bowl and start plating. All right. Check this out. Tom Yum Gong, homemade. Step number three. It is time to eat. Get some fresh lime and add it to your Tom Yum Gong for that sour taste. I prefer my Tom Yum Gong on the sour side, so I tend to add lots of lime juice. Serve with a bowl of hot jasmine rice, and you've got yourself a meal to die for. 
And there you go. I told you, it is so easy to make Dom Yum Gong at home. Now go try it for yourself.